So Vern, can you tell us about the, this microscope please? Yeah, we're pretty happy to introduce a new microscope that sort of brings high resolution to what we call an extreme level. Uh, we've all, often talked about extreme or ultra high resolution. Uh, this new microscope is really approaching uh, the ability to see very, very small structures and very thin films at very low voltage where we're exposing structures that couldn't be seen before. Uh, it has a seven angstrom resolution. We're now measuring scanning electron microscopes not in nanometers or tens of nanometers, but in angstroms and in angstroms at the lowest voltages. The microscope was down to a landing voltage of 10 volts. Kind of unprecedented in this field. At 10 volts, you're approaching scanning OJ in terms of your sensitivity for surface analysis. We're doing EDS analysis at extremely low voltages, but by being able to image things that are on the surface and analyze things that are on the surface, new EDS detectors technology, new microscope technology married together gives us this extreme power to see things that if you came to us four or five years ago, we would have laughed at you, sent you away, and thought, it's impossible. And now it's routine. Not just doable, it's not even difficult anymore. It's routine to look at nanometer-sized structures. So this is coming into the material science world, the biomaterials world, catalysts, oil and gas, uh, carbon nanotubes. As carbon nanotubes are exploding, they're doing catalyst work with them. They're doing catalysts with ceramics. That said, it can perform as a conventional microscope. It can be variable pressure. It's an analytical tool. You can put at the same time EDS, WDS, EBSD, a stem detector or transmission detector, and a cathode luminescence detector to turn this into what's effectively a nano laboratory, a self-contained nano lab without compromising any of the low KV performance specs. So we've, we've kind of put all of those things into one package. Uh, it's the next generation, as, as I like to say, it is evolution, not revolution, but as we add more and more functions, these instruments are gradually improving their performance. Wow, that sounds absolutely amazing.